Welcome to Travel Thailand channel. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of the latest daily news updates and more videos about Thailand tourism. Today news headlines. Pattaya struggling entertainment sector calls for later closing times. Vaccinated travel lanes between Thailand, Malaysia and Cambodia starting March 15th. Today COVID-19 updates in Thailand. Okay. Let's go to the news. Entertainment officials in Pattaya say the tourism economy would improve if the closing time for venues serving alcohol was 1 a.m. instead of the current 11 p.m. The secretary of the Pattaya Association of Entertainment Venue Operators told the media, many pubs, bars, and karaoke parlors have delayed reopening as restaurants as they believe having an 11 p.m. closing time would restrict them from making a profit. The secretary said business operators must immediately hold talks to plan ways to attract tourists back, since some neighboring countries have scrapped quarantine requirements to attract tourists. He said that in Thailand tourists from Europe and the US are coming back, and venues in the central walking street should be ready to reopen as restaurants to welcome them back. He also noted that tourists from Russia were coming back as well, but that source is now all but shut off. This news comes a week after Pattaya's public relations department requested that people not hold parties or gatherings with more than 50 people. Pattaya also postponed a music festival last month after 1,250 new COVID-19 infections hit Chonburi province. The entertainment secretary told the media, he hopes the tourism sector will recover soon, and tourism businesses will be able to resume operations in April. He said extending closing times to 1 a.m. should help with this. A network of new vaccinated travel lanes is starting to open up around Southeast Asia as the governments find safe ways to reopen their borders whilst still maintaining some precautions. The Omicron variant continues to surge in many of the regional Asian countries despite similar surges and declines already over in many countries in the EU, the US, UK and Australia. The newly announced VTLs still fall well short of the pre-COVID freedoms of visas on arrival and no pre-approvals for arrival in destination countries. Still, the new VTLs and recently announced travel bubbles are a lurch forward as much of Asia starts to reopen to international travel. Arrival procedures will differ between the various VTL destination countries and you should check your travel destination for details relating to you and your country of origin before booking tickets. Also, these announcements may be superseded by more recent details in coming days, so check the latest news about travel to your chosen destination before booking. Also, check all arrival procedures for your return journey. Now, new air vaccinated travel lanes will involve Malaysia, Thailand and Cambodia that are set to go into effect from March 15 and join efforts to reopen their international borders. Malaysia's Transport Minister Datuk Seri Dr. Wikashiong says that the key opportunity for travelers using the vaccinated travel lanes is that people won't require to quarantine when they arrive in their new destination. These routes are expected to aid our mutual economic recovery from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly in reviving the ailing tourism industry. In reciprocal arrangements, the partnering governments will be scheduled up to six flights daily. In the case of the Malaysia and Thailand arrangement, it will allow six flights between Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok, and four flights between Kuala Lumpur and Phuket. He added that the two sides could agree to add additional flights if the demands increased. For the Cambodian VTL, there would be at least two daily flights between Kuala Lumpur and Phnom Penh. Other Asian governments are also looking to facilitate VTL routes where travelers from each country won't be required to quarantine at either end. But a pre-flight PCR test and full vaccination will be required for travelers under the program. Malaysia currently has both air and land vaccinated travel lanes with Singapore. And from March 4, Singapore Airlines started operating vaccinated travel lane flights from Phuket to Singapore. Vaccinated travelers who meet the criteria are allowed to arrive in Singapore quarantine-free. There are two flights daily with Singapore Airlines, all designated as VTL flights. Singapore International Airlines says that flights will increase to three flights daily from March 27, 2022, and by April 2022 to four flights daily. Singapore International Airlines already has a VTL service between Bangkok and Singapore since February 1. 
Three flights daily are designated as VTL flights between Subarnabhumi and Changi airports. This week a travel bubble was approved between Thailand and India. With this arrangement, Indian and Thai airlines are now permitted to operate flights between both countries, but only for selected travelers. The country registered 21,881 new COVID-19 cases and 59 more fatalities during the previous 24 hours, the Public Health Ministry announced on Sunday morning. This compared with the 22,818 new cases and 52 coronavirus-related fatalities reported on Saturday morning. Daily deaths exceeded the 50 mark for the third consecutive day. The country reported 54 deaths on Friday and 52 on Saturday, Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration data shows. Death statistics have risen steadily since February 26, except the report on Saturday that saw the figure drop by two from the previous day. There is generally a two-week lag between a spike in infections and a spike in deaths. The new fatalities included one Myanmar citizen, while 78% of the deaths were people aged 60 or above. The country has 12.7 million people in that age group and only 30% have received a third vaccine shot, compared to 79% who got two jabs. The government has campaigned for them to be administered with a booster to keep the fatality rate down. Okay. We look forward to meet you again soon with more news updates and videos about Thailand tourism. Keep in touch with Travel Thailand. And don't forget to like video and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.